so here's where we get into that that lovely word enabling, which so many of us are are guilty of. And when we enable, of course, then we can turn it around and blame the narcissist for being the bad guy. So we never have to take responsibility for our part in the dynamic. But many who enable narcissistic leaders deceive themselves and and rationalize their behavior into believing it's okay to compromise their own integrity and go along without saying anything because they fear for their job. They convince themselves that they're okay and they really have the power um, or control in the situation, which they absolutely don't. Like my client who was saying, you know, setting up for her getting to three months where she's going to do a review of her goals and then she didn't have any and who do you think is going to get nailed for that not not the narcissistic leader (laughs) and and so it's easy to blame them and and think about that it's really easy to blame them but we enable them we let them we allow for these behaviors to persist and then we protect them but if really, if you let a kid run a candy store, who's to blame when they get sick from eating too much candy? We contribute to the issue. They may seem to be the problem, but if we're conscious autonomous human beings who continue to enable them, knowing that we're enabling them, being told we're enabling them and still doing it, you know, we really have to look at ourselves and what we fear. We aren't helpless. We don't have to compromise our integrity to keep a job or so we don't get yelled at. Our behavior can be just as problematic as theirs and we know better. 